people are being really loud downstairs. Be quiet, I'm trying to talk to the children. Okay, okay. Hello, welcome back. It is me, Gracie. Thank you for stopping in to, I haven't named what I'm making this. I guess just virtual Sunday school. I feel like we need like a theme song and we need like some sort of like title, like God and Gracie or like, the Bible, biblical learning. I don't know. We'll think of something. If you have any ideas, email me or message me because I'm hopeless. But yes, let's do it. Um, welcome back. Let's talk about Jesus. We are doing, we're learning about the early church. So like after Jesus like flew up to heaven, it's just the disciples. They're left here. Look, disciple. He's all alone now without Jesus, but the Holy Spirit is here. So we are still thriving here on earth. Um, so Pentecost happened, the flames came down, um, and the Holy Spirit came, and a bunch of people became followers of Jesus. And this story is about the early church, it's about, um, how the disciples are preaching the message after Jesus goes up to heaven. So, let's jump right in. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers, I feel like that could be fun. This is Peter and John, they are chilling full of the Holy Spirit, they're preaching to people, and this guy over here, oh no, this is the wrong hand, and this is our paralyzed man, okay, so, paralyzed man laying on the street, begging for money, he's like, alms for the poor, can I have some money, you can barely even see him, alms for the poor, can I have some money, and then Peter and John come walking, and they're like, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And he walks over to them, and then this, the paralyzed man says, alms for the poor. Do you have any money? And Peter's like, man, I'm in ministry. I am broke. And then he says, but I can do you one better. And so he prays for the man. They lay hands on him, <laughs> and they lay hands on the paralyzed man, and they go, in the name of Jesus, stand up. And then the, the paralyzed man stands up and he can walk. And so he's jumping around. He's like, yay, I'm, I can walk. These people, they saved me. And everyone's watching. They're like, oh, he's healed. It's a miracle. Did you see those two men that healed the guy? Wow, I'm so impressed. And then Peter and John are like, it wasn't us. It was Jesus. He healed them up in heaven. The risen Lord and Savior. He healed the paralyzed man. The paralyzed man's like, you heard him. It was Jesus. And so all the people that were like, it's Jesus? Did you hear it was Jesus? Who's this Jesus guy? And then Peter and John are like, well, let me tell you about my friend Jesus. And they start talking about Jesus' life. And they're like, he died on a cross. And they're like, no way. And he, like, made bread out of nothing. And they're all like, no way. He turned water into wine. What? Um, and get this. He died, and then he came back to life. And everyone's like, no. Oh, man, that is sick. And so all these people are like, we want to follow Jesus. We love Jesus. And the paralyzed man's like, I love Jesus. And they're like, yeah. And so guess what? 5,000 people turned to Jesus that day and they all became followers of Jesus and then the followers of Jesus they would all hang out together they would um, worship God together they would eat together they would pray for each other kind of like we do now when we're not in quarantine we eat together like um, after church we do worship together we talk about Jesus together we pray for each other and so the early church looked a lot like our church except a lot older there's a lot more sand and sandals and robes then than now but it's kind of the same um they got together they talk they they pray they they love jesus all together as a group and we do that too so peter and john healed the paralyzed man and all of these people saw this miracle that the holy spirit enabled them to do and turned to jesus the end thank you peter and john and paralyzed man for being part of this story Ah, oh, you're welcome gracie it was our pleasure you're the best, guys. Bye. Say bye to the paralyzed man and Peter and John. Off they go. So that was kind of a crazy story. I don't really know. I think my like mind left my body and I kind of just talked. So if my story didn't really make sense, basically what happened was Peter and John, picture two of them, these guys, the disciples, they healed a man and was like, this was the Holy Spirit's doing it through Jesus. And so a bunch of people saw this miracle happen, 
and the paralyzed man was able to walk again. Paralyzed means you can't walk. And so he was able to walk again. That's a miracle. It's not supposed to happen. And so this miracle happened, and then all of these people turned to Jesus and gave their life to Jesus and repented and were baptized. That's the story. I feel like the fingers were kind of fun. Maybe I won't do this again. I don't know. Let me know if you like the fingers. Maybe I'll make puppets. Ooh, we can make puppets. Maybe we should make puppets next time. We'll see. But, yes, so this is our story. Pretty cool. I love stories like this when miracles happen. I love when Jesus proves people wrong. When people are like, oh man, like, that's not a thing that can happen. That's impossible. And Jesus is like, are you sure about that? That's my favorite. I love it. It's so fun. Hi, Gracie editing this video. Can someone please count how many times I say, aw man, in this video? Because I feel like it's a strangely large amount of times. You know what I think we should do right now? I think we maybe should discuss and have some questions about the story. That's like a, a crazy idea. I just thought of it. I think it's a kind of an original plan. I think maybe we'll do something different and have a discussion time. Have you guys ever done that before? I don't know if you have, but I think it's a good idea. So let's do that right now. Question number one. What does it mean to be healed in the name of Jesus? Well, there's a lot of different avenues, roads, if you will, pathways you could take when you're answering this question. Because I'm sure a lot of people have different opinions. But one way to look at it is that Jesus was such a powerful person because he was the son of God. His name even holds so much power. Just saying his name changes things. And so healing someone in the name of Jesus gives it so much power and authority because Jesus holds so much power and authority that when you do things through the authority of Jesus, that makes miracles happen. Question two. What are some things the followers of Jesus did together in the early church? Like I said, they ate together, they prayed together, they worshiped, but they also probably like joked around, had some fun, maybe did some like game nights. I don't know, were games a thing back then? Maybe not, they were too serious and beards. Um, but there was like, they healed people together, they spread the gospel together. They overall had a pretty awesome time, I would say, hanging out and just loving Jesus all together. And I think, you know what, that sounds kind of familiar. We all love to hang out and eat and do Jesus things together. Like when we're at church, we're eating together, we're worshiping together, we're praying together, we're spreading the gospel sort of together. You know, like church isn't too different now than it was back then. We just have all the technology and the fancy Bibles and stuff. But it's kind of similar. That was this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I miss all of your sweet, sweet faces. Hopefully, we'll be getting together soon. Um, it sounds like things are starting to revamp up around here. So hopefully, we'll be back together soon. Not immediately, but hopefully in the next few weeks slash months, we'll be back together reunited. It'll be an epic reunion. I will squeeze each and every one of you, and I cannot wait to do it. Um, Stay cool, stay good, stay healthy, listen to your parents, always listen to Jesus, and never take candy from strangers. Thank you and have a good night.